Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Art Tele Cards. Thank you very much for joining me. I have a fun project planned for us today. I hope this video inspires you to create something of your own. If you would, hit the like button and share the video with your friends. That helps me to grow this channel and to continue to bring you new projects. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please consider subscribing? And if you have, thank you very much. Well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Art Telecarts. I have a fun little project for us. We're going to make some fun little floral pins, and they're really cute. Some buttons and some flowers, some little, little springy things. So um, they're super simple to make, and they're a nice little gift for... You know, someone in the education system, maybe, um, is what I'm making mine for. So, I'm going to be giving these away. How about that? So, the way I start is, uh, I begin, I got all my buttons here, but I, the where I start is usually with the floral pieces. And I take them all the way apart, all the way down to, like, the leaves. And uh, I will... Cut them. I'll make us a little trash thing here. I keep my sticks because, well, I just do. You never know when you're going to need them. So I leave them something like this. If I have a full stem, full bush, I should say, I pull them all apart. All right, that gets me where I can come down in here and I get pretty close to the base. I love these little cutters my husband gave me. So I get them right there at that very edge, though. That's where they're the strongest. So I have some bags started here. So what I'll be doing is adding these colors to our bags. But essentially, we make our little pieces for the end. We, we're going to use some floral tape. And some wire so that's all I really throw away and I, if I thought hard enough about it I probably could figure out something to do with that as well so I'm gonna pull all the leaves off and do them at one time so that's all the pink ones so again I'm going to cut cut I'm gonna get rid of this and I keep these because I, I use those for flowers that, ooh, I cut it too short or whatever. And then some of these I'm going to go ahead and, and cut right here. Because I have about 20, uh, maybe 25 in there. And I only need a, about that long to hook it in this body here. Some will be longer, some will be shorter, but that's in general. Just to show the other ones, I do the same thing. Open it all up. I just get these at the Dollar Tree so we don't spend a lot on them. So they're just a fun little gift to give away. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of these stems. So I've showed you if you've got something that looks like this, how we divide it up. But let's say you have something that's like this. So what I'm going to be looking for is that length. So I want, like this one, we'll cut again. And I'm going to cut it pretty close right here. I'm going to get my sharper scissors out. So that we end up with two. But you can see the stems are about the same size. So that's what I'm going to look for here. So as I look, I have, we'll pull it right off. That gives us a true height. So it looks like I could probably get one here right so that'll be one and we have this piece here so 
so I think and you, I mean you can change it up I'm just trying to have enough stem where I can get it to grip with the floral tape all right I'll get these all cut apart and get them added to our baggies and then I'll come back and show you um, all of our what we're gonna add so we have several of these made and I'll stick my two new colors down in there all right so we got our flowers all trimmed up and sorted out so that'll be what we put on a pin so each bag equals a pin so the next thing I want to work on is creating a bunch of little buttons little button clusters so they'll look something like that all different colors and leaves and all that sort of thing so I'm going to start by creating a bunch of buttons and I'm using this wire make it about yay long I'm just creating little pieces of interest to go on my little bouquet. So then we'll want to go back through. And then we just pull it tight, something like that. Give it a few twists and then twist it down. And that gives the tail to go in. We'll just create several of these. Got all these colors.
super tight. And so what we're creating are, are this little interest pieces here. Just that little element of surprise as you pick up that pen and start looking at it. show you how I make these cute little curls that just add this little bit of interest in our little flower pins. So we just tuck them in. Super simple. I'll use this coated wire to make them. To make it easy, I just take my wire, get it to unroll, just cut several at a time. Now you do um, want to pay attention to the gauge of the wire that you're using. You'll see here in a minute when I use this purple that it's uh, a different gauge so it's much stiffer which is still okay. Um, this is just a coated kind of wire and honestly I just use my old scissors. I was cutting them with these and, and that's probably the more proper way to do it, but golly geez, it just takes too much time. And I'm blessed to have multiple pairs of scissors. So I just use these on wire and, and things like that. So this is pretty, pretty flexible. This is flexible, but not as much. So you can see even just pulling it off the spool is different. So it's much, much stiffer. So um, keep that in mind when you go to pick your wire. And I probably will use this because this is way, way thicker, way stiffer. 
but I'm still going to measure out multiples at a time. So I used uh, a couple different measurements, both six and eight inches. I did a couple nine and uh, went ahead and filed that back to eight inches and then some shorter ones at six inches. So this is a eight inch. Still the best way I think to do that because it doesn't have to be exact or perfect. I'll be giving these to uh, some school secretaries so it's just uh, something to make them feel special and let them know they're valued. So I want to take this one back to the six inch and I'm just using wire I had on hand so I didn't go out and buy this so I can't tell you the gauges but that's what will give you the difference in the um, pliableness of the wire with that gauge. But I just happened to have this on hand, so I just wanted to use up what I had. All about using what I've got for these kind of little projects. See on my little package of flowers, so I got all my flowers separated. So what I try to do is I try to have all my pieces created and then assembly line make them. It seems to go faster for me. To stop uh, in my production because I've got lots that I've got started. I'm going to end up adding some little curlies to them, some of these little wire curlies. But I wanted to uh, show you before I use them up what I do uh, with these little pieces here. So I literally, I got a little cup just for my trash. Um, I am making like a little notch in my leaves. And what that will do is that will help 
uh, give something for it to hang on to. It being like as I'm taping the leaf to, to the button. And I try to give it like a little curve. And then I come in the other way. And I'm just taking out like a triangle. A little triangle piece. So it has that little piece that where I'll wrap the floral tape around it. To do that with each of them, uh, I just find that it helps to hold better. And this is just something super simple to do. I like to put everything out and do assembly line. I think I said that before, but it really does uh, play into uh, this sort of project because you can just... Uh, once you get going on one particular step, you just uh, you get faster at it as you go. If you've got it assembly line, so that one I didn't cut all the way, so it's giving me a little bit of a bit, but easy enough. Again, I'm just trying to take a notch out. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I tried doing just cuts, right? And that didn't really uh, do what I needed it to do. So I just started doing this and it did make a difference. I'll show you in just one second how that works. I find if I just put it in a little cup like this then I can contain my trash a little better. Right, something like that. My husband went to the store for me and got me some more floral tape. All those rolls I started with, I used them all up. Because this is one thing you don't want to skimp on your floral tape. This is what holds it all together. So when you get new floral tape, it comes with this little cellophane, cellophane little um, piece on the outside. So you just sort of have to get, get there and remove it. So I'm going to actually get my little fine and it's going to, I'm going to end up cutting that, but that's okay because you just use it. But it's this stuff and it's, it was sticky this time, normally it's not that sticky, but is fresh and hasn't been setting around. So what I do with these, so we'll do these first and then these are super simple. You'll, you'll love it when you see that. But I literally take it and I am going to wrap it and create just a little flower piece. But I do go ahead and get my, um, to activate the sticky you got to stretch it. And what I'll do is I will start here and I will wind it up towards the base of that button. So when I get it up there, then I'm going to uh, attach, and be like this, attach that leaf. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wind it around and I'm pressing it so that I, I'm making that tape stick to itself, which it will do that way easier than sticking it to the fabric of that leaf. All right, and once I get it down past where that cloth of the leaf is, I'm literally going to take it here and push it up so that it's way nestled into the base, like way, way up into here so that there's no wire really showing. There's so much going on with these pins that they're really hard to see anyways, but I just do that as, as a little extra step. And so now I'm just twisting and spinning that around in my fingers. If it goes to the end of the wire, that's great. It doesn't really matter because that's gonna all be hidden. So there you go. And it's something like that. So just a, a fun little touch for that. So I'm gonna put this over here. 
and we'll do another one. So again, I'm going to tear off a piece right here where I flub that up. Again, I'm going to stretch it because that kind of helps with my arthritic fingers to uh, keep it going the way I need to. So again, I'm just going to take it and attach it to itself. tape to itself. I'm going to get it up to the top. I'm going to pick a leaf. I'm going to put it at the top. The top by this being right at the base of the button. And then I'm going to spin it around a couple times because that way I've got uh, floral tape touching floral tape and that will help it to uh, catch. So now I'm going to go down and around. And what I'll do before I tear it off, I will look and make sure that it, um, like if it needs to move just a smidge, you can hold it here and push it up and that closes in the gap. And then I will literally just cut off a little piece and now I'm just going to spin this and what I'm doing is I'm pressing with these fingers and I'm twirling with these fingers. And then you have this pretty little, little cute little flowery thing made out of buttons. This is where we'll pause our project today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll join me next time as we finish up this project. And until next time, happy crafting!